My name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories train. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Daddy, are we gonna play? Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Um, that big truck, way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the exhaust pipe? Um, that's where all the smoke comes out. And it's gray. <laughs> hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Okay, let me just have one last look around. Ready? Okay, shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. No peeking. This is a toughie. Is it six? You cheated! Me? I would never. I saw you. You looked. What's the matter? Are you okay, Lovebug? Daddy's 30 years older and he still cheats. <laughs> I'm sure he was just playing. Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You. You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh. You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on K1.5 Flagstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> she fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. Hmm. You are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, 
I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. Let's just pretend this is a vacation. Family trip, Route 66. We collect a few pressed pennies, <laughs> and then back to Sacramento. Vince, we can't. That's not our life anymore. Look, I'm just trying to stay positive. <laughs> You've got your tenure. I've got my new job. <laughs> Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. Give me a little space on this one, okay? Of course. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. And what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Please, Jim, let's just take it down a notch and try to get through the next three days. Without me talking, you mean. I'm glad we're spending a few days together on the road. And like I said, once we get settled in the new days... <laughs> She's just shaken, I think. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. <laughs> Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Oh, come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal. You haven't told me whose house this is. It doesn't matter who. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. And you want to help the family, right? You know I do. 
Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? Nope. But someone's gotta watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale! The code. Jay can read! Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. The big bad wolf. Not funny. What happened? He's got a Doberman. I had to lock it in the shed. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Dale. He's the top cop in the whole county. You want to know how much respect I got for that? There isn't a day I don't think about getting back at that motherfucker. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is Two Rock, not NYPD Blue. Now get looking for that safe. He left his wallet. Told you he's an idiot. Good place to hide a safe. Or not. You find anything? Just a little cash. Maybe the safe's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up! I'm working on it. Hey! When life gives you lemons... <laughs> Come here. Help me get a little payback. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay.
Emperor's wife. Twelve years repairing jumbo jets, you'd think I'd be able to fix a car. You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Rush? Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanics away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars, Daddy's real good at cheating. <laughs> you gotta watch him like a hawk. <laughs> Kids. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norman to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. <laughs> All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Oh. You okay? Uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind rubbing it for a minute? Uh. Nice room. Looks just like mine. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something. <laughs> sure, I'll come. <sighs> we won't be long.
Collins was here, boy. I don't blame you, you know, for taking Michelle's side earlier. Can't be easy having me yanking your chain like that when you two are so on edge. Are you about to give me marriage advice? Because if I recall, you walked out on yours. No, no. I just wanted to say thank you for these last few months. Getting to know you again, getting to know Zoe, it's been a blessing. I'm glad she got to meet you. Know the worst part about living with, well, with having this tumor in my head? With you? It's probably having to look back on a lifetime of shitty decisions. Yeah, that's... Uh... You got me packed. I disappeared for 30 years. I can only imagine how that must have been for you and your mother. Also, I could get high and flip off the world. How could you have thought you'd be happier without your family? I mean, without mine, I'd, I'd be... I don't know. I guess I just never liked being tied down. With a family, I felt... Trapped? But not by you. By the responsibility. I think it's the same thing. I'm sorry, Sam. I am. And I know I've done nothing to earn your trust, but I need to ask you something. Okay. The doctors, they say I might have as little as two years. They don't have a clue, of course, but... Well, I know you said you could drop me in Tulsa, that I tracked down some friends there. Just spit it out, Jim. How would you feel about me living in a new house with you and Zoe and Michelle? Are you serious? Six months ago, I didn't even know you were alive. Now you want me to... To... I, I, I don't want to be sick in a hospital. I want to be around family. <sighs> Jesus. All right. I'll talk to Michelle. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Come on, let's go celebrate. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it round back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! Oh, I said get on the ground! Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Wait, please. I'm not gonna hurt you. You need to do exactly as I say, okay? Because if my brothers find out you're here, do you understand? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. Well, I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I shouldn't pry. Thank you. Everything okay up there? It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here. In here. Gross. Bird watching. That's cool. I found it! What the? Where's the code? Tyler's gonna be pissed. But hey, shit happens. That's why we got plan B. Come on, help me with this. Uh, uh. Oh, shit! Uh, almost had it, though. Come on, we still have time. I'm with you. Jackpot. Now we leave. Shit. Not coming up, just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way. See him. Now! Count to ten. Then go. Who are you? Just a guy who wanted a VCR. How about I shoot you for breaking and entering? I surrender. Okay? On your knees. 
Hands behind your head. This is C1. I got a 13506 in progress at 28 Northwood Drive. Send back up now. Take off that mask. Let me see you stupid. Come on. Came back early. I don't know what happened. Little brother saved my ass is what happened. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <sighs> nice work, guys. Hold on tight. Fuck. Thought we lost him at the junkyard. You think they saw us turn in? No. They would have slowed. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> Please, let us leave. We're just passing through. We shouldn't even be here. That makes two of us. Just do as I say and we'll all be gone in no time. <coughs> you, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Zeus. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. Hey, uh, guys? What? Look, I, I get that you need to hide, but do you need us for that? We could go to our room, stay out of your way. No one's leaving. Just stay down and stay quiet. At least you tried. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then, we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <laughs> Easy now. Let's I just... said drop it! Let's all just... take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said, take off the masks. Oh, no. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You. Grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. <laughs> You've never held a gun a day in your life. I learned quick, though. Touch my things again, you won't be happy. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's... it's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. 
think I don't know that. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the metal brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? <laughs> or how about this? <laughs> Come on, man, you're upsetting the dog. Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Hey, hey, Zeus. Remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me! Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Joyce, please, don't provoke him. Why? He's just a high school dropout who thinks he's some tough guy. Look, I listened to you earlier, right? Now do the same for me. Please. Fine. Shh. Shh. Hey, it's all right. Good. Now stay that way. What the hell is going on out here? It's nothing you gotta worry about. All right, it's settled. We stay put about an hour and leave once it's dark. Fuck, a whole hour? Hold on. Why do they have so much luggage? Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. Just me and my father. We're on a road trip to sort of get to know each other again. There's a lot of stuff for just two men. No, it's true. It's just him and the older fella. I checked them in myself. There's no one else. You know something? I don't like you. You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't know the first thing about who I am. Don't I? Nope. But this tough guy act of yours, that I can see through. Let's just hope your walk's as cool as your talk. <laughs> it's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two, keep your mouths shut and this'll all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, sorry to hear that. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. 
How are you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. <sighs> so, who else are you traveling with? Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh, why the booster seat? Huh? I saw your car when I pulled in. California plates? What, that one? That's not mine, no. Well, it's the only out-of-towner out there. No, I just mean we borrowed it. From a guy with, um, you know, kids. Borrowed it, huh? Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're just here for the night. On our way to Missouri, actually. Oh, yeah? Why Missouri? If you don't mind me prying. My wife grew up there. You know what? It doesn't matter. No problem. Just had to ask. There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house, if you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Wish choice better for me. Daddy! Mommy said I can stay up late tonight. What took you so long? Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh, right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? Come on, we need to get Zoe out of here. What? Why? Just do it. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Dispatch, this is 1742. I, uh, I have suspicious circumstances at my location. Please send additional... Lie about your family? And try to get us caught? Vince, look out! Please, no! Hey, stay out! to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that.
I never killed a person before today, and I don't want to do it again. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. Who knows where they were going to take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad, okay? Yeah, okay. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. <laughs> you people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Echo one for the exam. Please acknowledge. Take him in the back there and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. <laughs> what does that mean? He's gonna help us, right? He's sheriff of the smallest county in Arizona, but acts like he's the king of the Southwest. He can be a hell of a headache, but hopefully the headache we need. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> Is someone going to get that? The police are going to catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not gonna put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it, into the back. No, don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone.
keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yeah, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. <laughs> If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? <sighs> Quick, I'll block the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... my family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's... they sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. The one calling the shots, I think his name's, um... Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's the one who killed your deputy. I worry what's gonna happen if something else sets him off. Lock the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. It's good to identify a weak link. For us. And for you. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. <laughs> keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. <laughs> what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't have time. <laughs> You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. 
Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You can stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit! <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? You know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Nope. Be strong, Vince. Step away from the chocolate. Dish is done. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? <laughs> oh, look at that little face. Seems like a lifetime ago now. All right, on the home stretch now. Some dreams never get off the ground. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Mila gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. 
Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? I tried, really. I just didn't realize how much was still left to do. And as for the AC, that shouldn't be our responsibility anyway. I'm with you. I just know what our landlord's like. You break it, you fix it. I'm sorry, hon. I meant to. I just couldn't figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. It's just that dream I had about the... You know what? Never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Chocolate pudding! Ta-da! Vincent Walker. <laughs> You know how to twist a lady's arm. Okay. You're off the hook for not doing the chores. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? We all have things that scare us. Like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. Okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well... There you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? I need to get the hell out of here. Jay, take her upstairs and keep her quiet. Don't. That's not necessary. And make sure the windows are locked. <sighs> not Jay, getting out that way. Come on. I'll take care of you. Okay. You. That's the desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. Out back, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I could try the manual transfer switch. Go do it. Hey. Hey. I 
can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. told you, it's okay to be scared. Let it all out, Pumpkin. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen. I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy... and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Uh. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Down. Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! Sanchez is hit! I knew 
knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, 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 Jim, are you okay? Uh, Dad! He needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance! He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. He's still with us, Grandpa. Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Why'd you sprint for the door like that, huh? I shouldn't have come back. I never even paid the bill. What bill? Jim, what are you talking about? Uh, I'll, I'll be all right. I, I just need a, a minute to, to get my... Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need to show a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's, veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? I hear divorce is stressful. <sighs> anyway... Tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember?
Uh, by the way, you got a message. Something about Cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? You want to tell me who Bruce is? <sighs> Jesus, Vince. Some things are private. It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Hey, do you mind if I, um... Uh... Vince! Hi, is this Bruce? Uh, can you put Michelle back on? It is Bruce, right? Yeah, it's Bruce. So? I hear you like cupcakes. Vince, give me the phone. Weird, he hung up. What the hell has gotten into you? What are you fighting about? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy. Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and Mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> Is he... you know, do you like him? He's clever. We got on well professionally. Academia is competitive. It's rare to make friends. Clever, professional. Looks like Patrick Swayze. I know the type. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? <sighs> Michelle, every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy. Now you're being ridiculous. All right, then give me your cell phone. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Have you got something to hide? No, of course not. So what's the problem? What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. It just happened. You made a choice, Michelle. You chose to do this. 
Jeez. You don't need to raise your voice at me. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place, and he was... I don't know. He was there. How many times have you slept with him? What difference does it make? How many times? I don't know. Two or three? Well, was it two or was it three? It was three. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was. L listen to what you're saying. It's... What? Disgusting? Is that why you never want to sleep with me anymore? That doesn't... So you think that gives you what? Some kind of uh, moral high ground? You were lying this whole time. Like how you lied to me for three months about looking for a job? I wasn't lying. I couldn't find one. No. I had to find one for you. <sighs> I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine. That you don't need to talk, but the wall just gets higher and higher, brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? How dare you turn this back on me? I'm just trying to make you understand. Look, I know you're hurt and angry, but I can't undo what I did. You want revenge? Have a one-night stand. Maybe I'll take you up on that. Go for it. If it means we can put this behind... Didn't say that now, did I? Vince, I did a stupid thing. It was meaningless, but it happened, all right? If I could take it back, I would. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? You know what? Fuck you. No. You never speak to me like that. Ever. Where are you going? Oh, that's it. Walk out. This is still be here when you get back, Michelle. Vince? I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, uh, not me. Please, T take Zoe. I'm, uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary, but you're gonna have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> hey.
Hey, look, you dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. We've got eyes on two hostages. One more, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? The answer is no. Because I'm here. And you know what I am? An aircraft mechanic? You're supposed to say superhero. Anyway, I promise no one from our family is going to die. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. You know how much I loved you, right? All... all the way to the moon. That's right. You get scared, you just look up at the sky and remember that, okay? Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. <sighs> Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? You know, all the best things about me, they're part of you already. So wherever you go, I'll always be with you. You will? Always. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <sighs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You did. I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Vince, is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I'll tell you something I learned early on in life. Never trust a cop. You want my take? Steer clear. 
Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. <sighs> Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. <laughs> hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. They need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? I care about everyone. I'm super nice like that. Yeah, okay, whatever. You're creeping me out. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is... This ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <gasps> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? <sighs> Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. 
Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. You're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Vince, I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back, <laughs> some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. Yeah, your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Sniper on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince. It's okay. I'm all right.
What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. I, know. I saw Zoe out, out there. She had her face pressed up to the window of the police car like... Right. Like an abandoned puppy. She's safe, right? There's somebody watching her? I wouldn't trust the police to watch the tide come in. I'm sure she's fine. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, <clears throat> Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon! Better not make me regret this. <sighs> Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Why are you here? I got this! <clears throat> you clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul? Sharon? Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Uh, long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. <sighs> Got something to say? Nope. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? We're fine. We'll get through it. Fine, huh? Not sure I buy that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. He saved your brother's life! <sighs> family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters, but desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared, just like you are, just like I am. So tell you what, you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Look, 
the sheriff, he, uh, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Just hold on now! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. So Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't know all the history here, but I talked to your sheriff, and he was bad news. You're perceptive. I'll give you that. But it don't mean all that much. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Seriously? None of it went right, Mom. None of it. It's like I told you on the phone. We were gonna lay low here till Romero got bored of chasing his own tail. Next bit, you have the sheriff's department without I had to pick a side. The sheriff, he nearly had me shot earlier for no reason except I was in the way. At least the bad guys need us alive. Oh, I'm with you. Just be careful. She's too sharp for her own good, that one. You think Zoe will be okay? After going through all this? She's got a lot of fight in her for someone so little. <laughs> I think she gets it from you. Some of the moves you've pulled tonight, I think we can both take the credit. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. At last, the hunter returns. Caught some cottontails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. Well, we replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Fine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't softwood. 
so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler. Says he's got hard wood. <laughs> Maybe you need a cold shower. I don't. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa! <laughs> Shoulda known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh. Hey! Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. You ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines? <sighs> yeah, I see them when I'm watching the birds sometimes. <laughs> Well, lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof then, seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <laughs> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. Ah. Stupid. What in God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taken too long. And then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks.
Who are you? <laughs> Hello, son. I represent some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. This is private property. You need to go, sir. <laughs> Maybe you need a lesson in manners, young man. I'm here on a matter of urgency. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? Depends on who you are and what you want. My name is Mr. Thorne. I represent an organization that has a financial agreement with your father. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. <laughs> Please. I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Hey, not in the house. Now why would you care? Your house may seem clean, but even I can see it. You're just one poker game short of being trailer trash. At least we don't have to dress like you. Hmm. Of course not. The only time people like you wear suits is when they're up before a judge. Now you hear this. If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Understand? Wait, are you... you're threatening us? You catch on real quick. After me, others will come. And they like to shoot first, smoke later. If you catch my drift. That watch on your wrist. Valuable, is it? Why? I'm not leaving without my down payment. Ugh. You give me that watch, and I'll buy you some time. Come on, hand it over. I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Jay, I forgot my damn watch. Huh? Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your family's too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? 
this time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. Don't know. I didn't see. Right. And I'm Janet fucking Jackson. What have you gotten hmm. yourself into this time? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces, like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? <sighs> even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Ma. It's all right. Sheds in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. <laughs> no fear. Gonna be awesome. Me turning off the lights. Halfway there. There. Thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey. You all right? It's nothing. Just... That we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> Can't you just buy a ticket on a Greyhound and get out of here? I wish it was that easy. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. Wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back.
You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could... Could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. You're doing okay? Better now. We all agree. How about you? I'm not gonna let you leave. Scared. Me too. Huh? Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? What's the plan once we get in the bus? We drive to the border and hope like hell we don't have to stop for gas. Never they don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order, and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I wanna do. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight mm -hmm. lessons. Even in the country? We can't go home again? Vince. I've been thinking a lot too about Bruce and I'm sorry, Jake. There's no going back now. What I did. And and I'm still sorry. But I need to know. Is it really over between us? Please don't sugarcoat it. Marriage is hard, and it takes work. But if we keep at it, I think we can get through this. I just hope we get the chance. We will. You'll see. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? It's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I've I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well, there's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. Uh, it's a date.
Everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? Won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I appreciate you not telling your mom about the debt. I didn't like lying to her. I know. But you did the right thing. Even though it seemed like the wrong thing. She used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. She's just angry, Pa. I've done plenty to earn it. She spat fire at me since the day I... Well, it ain't been good in a long time. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. Why have we stopped here? Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. Is he dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. 
So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave them the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. Anything? Nothing. Mm. Uh, ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt, rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me, started bucking and biting, and I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle, says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... Oh, oh that's steep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms, I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. All right. Let's get him covered before sunrise. Beyond saving, son. Like that crazy horse. Now, are you gonna help me or not? Uh, 
We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. <clears throat> Look like you need it. To he who falls last. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you're right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Don't die! Don't die! <coughs> Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? 
The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now, should have let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. It's my fault. I should have told you about the debt. No, I won't hear that. Sweetheart, you didn't bring this on us. You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Surrounded! Take them out! Take them out! Just keep firing! What the hell do we do? We gotta get to the truck! Michelle! Jim! Over here! Vince, we need you! Jim, where's Michelle? Look! Oh, oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! You're coming with me! Screw you, you piece of shit! Out, okay? Please hurry. Damn it. Hang on. Ma, it's over. We can't win. On three, okay? One, two. Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? All good. Keep going. Ah! We're not safe yet. <coughs> the whole fucking place is on fire. Oh god, I hope Paul got out. How do we get out? There's a window. <coughs> Come on. Mother. Oh. Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Uh, Vince, wait. If I don't make it, you're gonna be fine. Grab my hands. Here we go. Alright, time to jump. And no fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes?
guess I'm on fire tonight. <laughs> the flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Look out! Climb down. I'll find another way. The bathroom at the end of the hall. I'll see you down there. I trusted you, and you chose them over me. You've lost your mind. That stunt with the bus? You're supposed to protect people. And you were supposed to do what I asked, the Holtz. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people, myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. And the thing is, I, I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> oh, fuck! Hey, where do you think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Huh. 
electrocute that asshole. Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello. And who might you be? Where's my mommy and daddy? I need to make sure they're okay. She's that guy Vince's kid. Cops were meant to be watching her. Want to go for a ride, Dad? Let her go. I don't think so. Zoe, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be in the car. The policewoman left the door open, and I wanted to find you. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. I lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down. Shit. <sighs> Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Hmm. I swear to God, if you take her from me... You'll what? Come after me? I lost a son tonight. I ain't losing any more. We're taking her and that's that. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled, uh, we gotta go. Wait, look. Look, I'm no lawyer, but in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? If you take Zoe, and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on, then. Daddy! Oh, God, Zoe. Come on. You're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case we need to see you in the dark. I love you, Zoe. Oh, oh, all the way to the moon. Say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI.
Jesus. This was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. He wasn't dumb. He was trying to do the right thing. I'm sorry this is happening. Me too. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> the place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. on it. Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. The truth is, there's still too much to forget. Not just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, it didn't matter. 
Not how fast I sprinted. Not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! idea. Cut the engine. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> we're alive. That's something at least. You get that we're dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. Guys, I don't think this is helping. Hey! hey! Look. You got away. Can you let me go now? Shut up. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico, fuck, Ma! <sighs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left him. <sighs> Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on him. Now, I know none of this has gone like you planned. And what happened? Hey, oh, unlock the door. The what? No, I can't. Right Come now, on, man, this could be my only chance. If Tyler sees you, he won't if you hurry. Come on, please. Go quick, before they notice. Thank you. And, uh, hey, about Yellowstone? It's fine. I know I'm never going. Never say never. Okay? Come on. Back in the house. What the? Are you nuts? They'll hear it for miles. Oh. How'd he get the door open, huh? Tyler, it's spilt milk. Let's just get moving. Yeah. We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You know you just gave up our only bargaining chip? A person ain't a chip. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. <laughs> I can't get him out! He's gonna die in there! Uh. 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 
Hey, you hear that? Fuck! They found us! We gotta leave! Go, go, go! I think I saw someone run. bad, all a man can do is put it down. Hey. Let's go out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Oh, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. Hey. I think I need water. Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... His almost superhuman strength. And this is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh, like... We 
We could take some rope and tie it to a tree and make a swing. It'd be amazing, just like Tarzan. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I- Because I've... you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right, if you say so, whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. <sighs> Mountain! Pull up! Pull up! <sighs> awesome piloting skills. And now, the quest continues. On foot. Huh. No. This, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. Hello? What the hell is that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! by the ridge, near a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way! <laughs> Gotta get water? Gotta get warm.
Please let there be a medicine cabinet. Hurry it up! What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Holt. Roger that. <sighs> the Holt. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical. So it just depends on how smart they are. That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway? I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. I really don't like hospitals. Or any of that. Well... Okay, me neither. I don't think anyone does, but... Please, just no doctors. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The Juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look, could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. I guess I don't mind the company. 
But you have to be gone before eight or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah. I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but... What was your excuse? I didn't like being stuck inside all day. Well, what about Jim? They kept trying to teach me basketball. On that indoor court where the AC always breaks? Yeah. See? Much better. BB, where's my sandwich? I'll be right there. Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. Baby, I was listening to that. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Huh? Oh, Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Maddie? I'm sorry, we've never met. My name's Dean. Oh. Maddie died, didn't he? Yes, Mima. The things a mind can forget. Here, let me help. Oh. So, Dean, what does a high school dropout do all day? I'm not judging. I'm just jealous. I have a job. Driving deliveries for a hardware shop. Oh. Do you like it? It's all right. It gets me outside. Anyway, I don't got a choice. Ma says I gotta earn for the family. That sucks. You're too young for that. Legal working age is 16. I'm two years in. Tell you one thing, Matthew made better sandwiches than him. I made your sandwich. And it tastes like cardboard. Because you won't let me use condiments. <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to murder, she wrote. It was nice to meet you, Dave. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license, she knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt, Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. How did it happen? Spring break? A year ago? Matt was grounded as usual. My dad's always grounding us. So, he snuck out to this party. Said I wouldn't have liked it, though I think he just wanted to keep me out of trouble. And when he wasn't at breakfast the next morning, our dad was furious. And then we got the call. It happened on his way home. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. Look, 
Do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. He was always trying to protect me from things. Mm -hmm. From our older brother, from Pa, when he was on a bender. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. Now he's fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He was up painting a roof and fell off a ladder. The way he landed. Oh man, I'm sorry. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but Sometimes I wish my dad would fall off a ladder or whatever. Come on, you don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Hey, I hate my family sometimes too. If it ain't my pa drunk or my brother's picking on me, it's everyone just mad at each other for no reason. See? You got it. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <sighs> hey, you want to help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay, sure. Minnesota? Nope. <laughs> Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't- Which president signed the 1906 oh. Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon? Wait, I think I saw this on TV. Um, I think it's Roosevelt. Which Roosevelt? Theodore. Teddy. How the hell did you know that? Because it's a cool story. See, there's this guy Muir. He was a naturalist. He went camping with Roosevelt once. Convinced him to protect the wilderness with a new law. And Roosevelt did it. <laughs> wow. Want to take my final for me? <laughs> nope. Too bad, because I am officially going to fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're... You're smart and... You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. <laughs> Shit, he's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, sir. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Huh? Uh, the Bridgely School. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. Fine. 
But you didn't ask permission. Well, you weren't around to ask. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right, on the radio earlier. Well, I hope they catch them. So do I. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Jason! Hmm. I need your help with something. Get back to the study. And next time, you ask before you bring a stranger in the house. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. You can't. Not yet. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on. It's probably in the bathroom. Up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Jay? Damn it, I'll do it myself. Uh. Son of a bitch! Uh. Come here! Uh. What the fuck are you doing here? Huh? Speak up. I, I, I got hurt. Where? Seen worse paper cuts, you pussy. Oh. Don't you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? I swear, I didn't hear about it. You look a little young to be working for those assholes. But something tells me you ain't being straight with me. I am being straight. I am being straight. I promise. Nobody told me about this place. That's right. Because it don't exist. Oh. I reckon there's only one reason you came here. And that's to steal my stuff. Ah. <laughs> I was just looking. But I didn't take anything. Looking? Snooping, it's all the same thing. Where are you from? Uh, well, well, my mom is half Diné, half Maori. You dumb shit. I was asking where you lived. Never mind. And this mom of yours, does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. Mm. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? You cut his throat? You think I... 
two things you ought to know about me. One, I ain't no child killer. And two, I believe there's no greater shame than a boy stealing from his own father. That's right. Flesh and blood he was. My own son. Eldest of three. And those boys all know better than to go messing with my stuff. You know why? Because they're scared of being punished? Now hold on. I teach them discipline and respect. They gotta learn to be men. Didn't your dad teach you nothing? I... I haven't got a dad. What? He dead or something? No. But Mom never talks about him. Huh? Why? Maybe he's not a good man. Maybe she's scared he'll hurt me or something. Yeah. Some men are like that. Listen, any asshole with a pair of balls and a prick can be a father. Sounds to me you're better off without him. But just because he walked out on your mama, it doesn't give you license to do the same. You ungrateful little. Pa? Mm. Hey, Pa. You in there? So, listen good, Goldilocks. I'm going to cut you loose. And you better run straight home before I change my mind. Uh. But don't you go telling a soul about this place. You never saw it, you hear? It don't exist. Now run, me uh. ball. Faster! Before I change my mind! Pa, huh. what are you shooting at? Yes! Yes! A road! Please don't be. Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have come straight home. Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Wulema. <laughs> He's gonna be so surprised. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> oh, Mom. the sheriff's department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was... <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? Huh? 
I, I couldn't find it. I fell. Got lost. That's all. Ash? Ash? Ash! Easy, easy. I, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. When I got out of the car, you weren't there. I thought I was... I thought that was it. It was that freaking helicopter. We circled back, but the cops were... I can't believe you survived. What were you thinking, sneaking up on us like that? Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, That's then... for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I got yours too. You're my brother. Good. I'm gonna at the first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. Oh, you sleep longer. I was tuning up the bike. Can we talk about this Canada thing? We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass who can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Cause he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Kanab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> We both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler, the eldest, the responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leave it. This is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. You be the one. I don't want to be alone. Oh, come on. You love being alone. You've been running off alone ever since you learned to walk. Besides, you owe us. 
owe you? You heard me. You're the one who stole that goddamn book. I didn't know. Exactly. Because you're always in your own goddamn world. Pa, he treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in. What? Your real mom should have done us a favor. Tyler, enough. What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. It matters to me. Who's my real mom? My younger sister, Brooke. She died giving birth to you. You had a sister? Who was my father? You don't have one. Should have been Dale. Should have been you. I'm leaving. You better hope I don't get caught. Jay, please. Let's talk about this. Tyler, what are you doing? He knows the whole goddamn plan. Jay! Jay! Don't you dare hurt him! Jay! Get back here! Jay! Get back here! Look, forget what I said, okay? Of course I'm your brother. I used to change your diapers. I know you once tried to keep a squirrel as a pet. And that you hate Ma's baked potatoes. I don't want to hurt you, Jay. I just need to know you're not going to tell anyone the plan. Push me, Tyler. You're not my brother anymore. Come on now. You're just being dramatic. I'll shoot you if I have to. I don't want to, but if you make me... Get down here, Jay. I swear to fucking God. Jay, help me. Please. My leg can't take a fall! <sighs> How the hell do you climb so fast? I don't look down. Look, Jay, it's been a long day. I shouldn't, uh... You don't gotta say it. I know what I need to do. Which way are you gonna go? Maybe north? 
Like you said, cops won't expect it. Then good luck out there. And remember, when it's them or you, pick you. <sighs> Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Please, can I have some water? You want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. There you go. Now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win, you give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell, I'm bored. Twenty-seven, your turn. All right. Mmm, not bad. I've played before. Ready for round two? Well, well. Forty-seven? What's that? 25? 
Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. <laughs> Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Did I win? You sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. <gasps> oh. Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone who was there. Oh, shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18-year-olds? Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. <laughs> this one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about <laughs> you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. And Kyle. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. Can't say I did. But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? So what if I did? Had a feeling. Summer of 87. A buddy and I rob a grocery store up in Reno. When the cops find us, I get scared and run. They beat me to an inch of my life. My pal, black guy named Dave. He, uh, he wasn't so lucky. Come on. Let's get you north. Again for the ride. Word to the wise. Hey low. Call a friend if you got one. to multiple murders at the Desert Green Motel in Arizona. According to inside sources, the district attorney intends to pursue the death penalty. 
Please be advised, he is extremely dangerous. Directory assistance. I I need to collect call the Dorland family. In Two Rock, Arizona? Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I had this argument with my brother. He said, well, it don't matter. But I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I could try to- No. It's too late. I'm on my own now. I've got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer. And now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? Hmm. You know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. Holy shit. You're awesome. Seriously. <laughs> That's what they tell me. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. Probably gonna regret this. But right now, you're all I need. I know, Marlon. Two years sober, and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. What's got you so. <gasps> Hello? Who's there? Sorry, sorry, you, you can... Uh... <sighs> Jesus! I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. <sighs> 
Spike blew a tire, the first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! That motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost her home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. I thought you'd be over the border by now. Ugh. It all turned to shit, Paul. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? Oh, that damn bike. Cops were on our tails. He held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Don't know where he is. But after what he saw them do to Dale, my beautiful Dale, he'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. <laughs> Sorry. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? Always used to dream I'd find a girl, settle down. Then I met my wife, and for a while at least it came true. Until I went and blew it. So much for happily ever after. I get it. No one should have to be alone. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Been telling myself the same thing for 20 years. Never thought you'd say it, though. You've always been a good friend. When those mm. thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you?
that night at, at the motel. It brought it all back, the war, what we went through. <sighs> Some nights, I hear Bear through the walls, screaming in his sleep. I can't imagine. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Or what? You gonna tell the cops? No. I wouldn't betray a friend. I mean, sure, you could end up in jail because of all this. And so could I. But there's a way out. For both of us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you said it yourself. We should have been together from the start. And I'm saying this is our second chance. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion. Or we can live together in paradise. You do realize, if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Cuz, it's me. Open up. Shit. It's Dante. Fancy seeing you here. Hey, cool outfit. Uh, yeah, right. I was so busy packing for the road that I forgot what I was wearing. Can I come in? Uh -huh. <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> I... Nobody's ever done something like this for me. I don't deserve it. Of course you do. Why? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away. From everything. So, if I can help you somehow... What's wrong? It's just... If you hadn't come... I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. 
I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that you need to book to this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. <sighs> Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What are you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you thinking? Is it meth? Ketamine? Dad, no! <sighs> Vanessa. Do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life? Lying all the time? Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Ugh. Do what you have to. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Uh, Dale showed me once. But I think it's these ones. sound crazy, but I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. Thanks for taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home.
We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car, and it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. The only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. Could you hand me my cigarettes? Uh-huh. <clears throat> I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. My pa was scary because you couldn't predict him. Mm -hmm. Yours is scary because you know exactly what he's going to do. You mean come after me? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Lie about myself to someone I like. What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. <laughs> I said, open up. Hide. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. Waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on, I'm coming in. Sorry. Hi, I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? That. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. Oh, they look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez, <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back. Well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, 
plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Might take a, take a trip. See the world. Live a little, you know? Yeah, live a little, huh? <laughs> well, if I weren't in the middle of this shit storm from hell, I'd be on the next greyhound behind you. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah, back then I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Uh -huh. Cuz, I'm talking to you. You you knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah, oh. guess not. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about, uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. I give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm. <laughs> what a week. Sharon. Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's crawled under, I'll find her. So help me God. If you ask me, she's halfway across the country by now. Nah. Sneaking back to Two Rock is exactly the sort of thing she'd do. Could be right under our noses. Hey, you know we had history, right? 
back when I was a deputy. Wanted me to leave Becky for her. Of course, she was much better looking back then. That's so. Because I always thought it was the other way round. That you wanted her to leave Bear. <laughs> no. You got your wires all crossed there, Paul. That bitch was crazy as shit. I've done some bullets in my time, cousin, but... <laughs> that one... Hmm. for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. No. Nuh-uh. Don't even start down that road. Paul, come with me. It's not too late. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people... You don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? I know where that money comes from. Sharon told me everything. You don't know the half of it. And you take her side over mine? Your own blood? I know she made you do this, Paul. <sighs> Look. I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. You know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can. Paul, car keys. Let's go. <clears throat> Hurry. I know. <sighs> people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? Not 
for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. Soda. Okay. person expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will he give me for it? Oh, man. You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together. In Arizona. Well, whoop de doo doo fucking do. Now get out of my room, or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Buddy. She's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. You can't win them all. I'll be at the car. Feel amazing? Dean, why'd you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. But I did snag this. So, did the two of you... Uh, did you... Wait, are you jealous? Hmm. 
No. Why would I be jealous? Whatever. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? Oh, he won't help with that. He... wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. I wish you'd told me the truth. Maybe I should have. Look, I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Yeah. All right. Idaho, huh? And I thought it was all potato farms. Something, ain't it? <sighs> You're not like the guys at school. I'm the football players, and the athletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know. You're real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I... I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home... We ran, got holed up at this motel on Route 66. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Uh. Are you angry? It's... it's just a lot. Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me. And I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... I don't know why I did that. Don't be sorry. That was nice. <sighs> Real nice. Maybe we can do it again when we get to Canada. Wait, we? What? You thought I was gonna miss out on all that maple syrup? I'm coming with you. Y you can't. Didn't you hear what I said? 
I'm wanted by the FBI. Dean? Or Jay, I guess? I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Of course I do. But... Are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay. Then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. <sighs> So, oh. Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Two Rock over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I was. But that's over now. It's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. All units, be advised. Teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. Beat my record. Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Mm. Not really feeling it. Oh, right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about, holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? Down there, the only person looking out for me is me. So I've got to step up and take control of myself. Sounds kind of... lonely? Maybe I like it that way. I should be getting home. Look, it's just... 
So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears. Gone. We event- I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Did you just see that? The guy in the hoodie? I don't see anyone, but the Lord works in mysterious ways. So, I talked to Mima. What? When you were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any- No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But, hey, guess it's time to be flexible. I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. You're not a criminal. You're just helping a friend. Did you watch the OJ trial? The what? <laughs> OJ Simpson? All-American football player accused of murdering his wife because she's screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, <sighs> what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? We're capable of anything, if we're desperate. Even murder? Sure. If there's a reason. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Ugh, they say it like dropping out's a crime. Halt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, please call 911 and make... Sorry, you got pulled into all this. I wasn't pulled. I chose. I just... I need a minute, okay? Sure. Okay. Okay, don't stress. We'll figure this out. Morning, you two. 
Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that Riverpalooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We are just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We're from San Francisco. We're driving cross country. Strange route you're taking. You don't have California plates. Oh, it was his aunt's car. She lived here in Montana before she died. So we're here to visit his uncle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. Sure. Just a sec. Where is it? Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Oh. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, Bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on, get out of here. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> So how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? You know, just... busy. But my media studies professor says I'm doing great. I might be looking at a 4.0 this semester, so that's... Wow! <laughs> that's... Hey! Michelle, Zoe's got a 4.0. Honey, that's incredible news. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go.
pill bottle. Am I just not seeing it? What is that? Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? there. Hello? If this is a joke, it's not funny. I know it's late, but I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. <sighs> it's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zeusy, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh... uh maybe? I, I, I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I... I took a walk, and, uh... And I, I saw someone, and, uh... I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with... with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home God or... Oh, goddammit, I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have... 
some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Huh? He pays for it. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my darn because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? <gasps> Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmare started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. And before you ask, no. I haven't told Mom and Dad. I didn't want to worry them. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take it when someone has been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computer -y thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. All books, medical books? Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to... Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. I thought you said you were taking a walk? Oh, uh, I was. <laughs> or I was going to, anyway. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after... You know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. Grandpa. Oh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Oh. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in, 
Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. You can't let it beat you. You fought cancer. You can fight this too. That wasn't the same. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. <sighs> you must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually... Someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I... I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid. Seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you're crazy at all. Because if you were... How could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. It's impossible. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you. Trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free.
wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the Two Rocks of Two Rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just going and going. How do you do it? Been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. Okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. Ugh. My God, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert, and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there. That's better. Glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. Mm -hmm. oh. <gasps> Get down! Uh. Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? His name's Jay. I know all about what happened at the motel, and honestly, I don't care. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? If you know who he is, then you know he's a murderer. He killed cops, Vanessa. He's going to death row. You have no idea what you're talking about. No way you're alone out there. Who else is here? There's no one else. I just came for my daughter. Then you wasted a very long trip, Dad. <sighs> She's not gonna turn on him. We stick with plan A. Jay Holt, you are under arrest on the authority of the FBI. I'll admit, you nearly gave us a slip. That ranger at the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. I have a clear shot on this uh.
Come on! Let's go, let's go! Come on! Go, go! Orders down there, past the lake. We gotta jump. Off this? Vanessa, wait! Stay back, Dad. You jump, you die. You'll never make it. We might, you don't know. Vanessa, whatever you think about me, you were my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. When is the last time you said you love me? I'll give you a clue. It was never. Okay. I'm bad at saying it. I'm bad at a lot. After your mom died, I didn't know how to. I'd say left, you kids would go right. The more I tried, the more you both hated me. And then Matt went off the rails, and I... I know you think I'm a monster, but I do love you, Vanessa. If you say we can survive this, then I believe you. But let's just do it before I change my mind. All right then, on three. One, two. Wait, Dad? Yeah, honey? Tell Mima there's an extra pack of cigarettes under the sink. No, Vanessa, don't! No! <laughs> Sure, this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. My God, Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid.
He look older too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <sighs> oh. Is that girl still here? The one you ran away with? No. No, she's gone. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. You know, the world thought you were dead. After you jumped off that cliff. We almost were. I blacked out when I hit the water. Vanessa pulled me to shore. Spent weeks on foot after that. I had some lucky breaks with the weather, but we only made it because we had each other. Her name was Vanessa, right? Can I ask what happened? We spent six years together, me and her. Slept outside when it was warm. Used to read books to each other by the fire. <laughs> but in the end, uh, I guess she missed normal life. I think she's in California now. I'm just grateful for the time we had. In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town, but you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah, Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler got away too. My pa and I sent letters a few times, but he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too, and that's it. And it's just me now. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. So, why did you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. In person. Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams. Out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. 
the cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe in some ways. Jay, why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later. You'd think I'd be able to move on. But I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time, but you also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that, too. How can you be so forgiving? Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That my family was just pushing me around. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I, am I broken? Might be, but who isn't broken? Just look at us. Anyone who pretends they're whole, they're full of shit. It's a fucked up world, I guess. It's a fucked up world. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. That's probably a good idea. Take care of yourself, all right? Sure. You too. The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Even when clouds have blocked out the sun, Why do some of us find ways to endure? <laughs> While others just wither on the vine. the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, he's 
Zoe, uh, his grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, the desert dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easier for yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two. Oh, <laughs>